Brissa. Moira. So is this a family of someone that they buried? Come on. I'm sure this has purpose somewhere, just don't know it yet. Oh, it's one of the interesting things of exploring in a more linear game. This one is more linear than the next one, but I can't pick up on. I don't get markers for having discovered those as of yet. I'm hoping, well, I can always hope, but I'm wondering if I can get... No, this one's the way out. Wondering if I can get credit for discovering those if I pick up the quest later. So I believe I'm done with that, or done exploring that area. So I'll just continue on down the river, I guess. So this goes. So yeah, that's the Kedwinian camp. So that's definitely across the river. That's got to be some kind of Nilf Guardian. That's a Nilf Guardian boat, but it could easily be a kid boat. I am not as familiar with the architecture of these forces. Hello? Hello? What, what is all this stuff? Okay, are you guys gonna murder me? Or are you okay? Site of Sabrina. Oh, this is the site of the execution. Alright then. So, exploration. Got me something useful. Oi, what you doing here? Doing my job? These are the last lambs. I heard Zivik can't wait for you to get back. Plow it all. If we miss muster, he'll have us flogged. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside, and who knows what would happen. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely All help right, you. We'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently, it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. All right, then. Don't tread on the ashes. So, I've mentioned before, but it is definitely fascinating that curses and superstition in our world has very much Who meaning enough to bring all these things here in this world where a curse said by essentially a normal person under enough power can have real meaning this is a weird formation of mushrooms nothing again Huh. So... People are bringing stuff to here. So weird. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? So I'm looking about... There's a f no, I don't need to talk to you. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? trapped around here. I might have to. Is that a dead bird? Nothing interesting. I'm probably going to have to examine the actual post which he was burned on. What are you? Oh, a skull. Strange aura. A bovine skull. Some kind. I wonder if I and I can get up there, I believe. Nothing. Again. So I can overlook the whole area? That's useful, I guess. I might be able to see a pattern of some kind. So there's the mushrooms on the lower left. There's the bread. The odd lighted up, lit up bowl, the bovine skull. I have no idea what the stuff down here is. Then there's the broken and burned tree. Oh, hello! And welcome to the stream. 
Yes, I do find this game also to be fascinating. Um, currently in chapter two, I believe, following the roach path. Just discovering the sight of uh, the witch being burned. Hmm. So I'm trying to find out the significance of this area. Apparently there's bad luck if you step in the ashes, but I'm probably going to have to. So, buck up. I'll explore the Strange circle. Aura. Let's take a closer look. Okay, how about we examine... We'll start at the bottom. Mm, yeah, we'll start at the bottom. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Oh, so you nailed her to a wagon wheel and burned her. Ugh. Um, or the degree of charring. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. That's odd. But there are fresh marks mm. on it. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. Someone looking for relics. Ooh. Might as well take a nail, I guess. I better take one, just in case. So that's kind of weird. Yes, it is. It's uh, burning a witch at the stake for... Well, she did essentially end a battle all on her own by raining fire down upon everyone. Her side and the enemy's side. The king was kind of pissed. She also set up a curse that has now been active and is raising undead people from seven years ago. So, eh. Ha! Ah, she did get nailed. Ah, uh, human traffic. Well, there's been people a lot of seem it. to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid, while the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Hmm. Because obviously someone's taking the nails. But there are also animals Animal going tracks. up to it. Dogs, wolves, bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections. And they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Well, that's... I didn't know cats could draw on the power. But I do know that cats do not like witchers because they can sense the oddity of witchers and they love uh, spellcasters. There's an odd affinity for casters be just for the exact same reason of the cat laying on the ley line of the power. They also enjoy practitioners of it. But the witchers do weird things. Witchers do weird enough things that cats don't like them. Even though witchers have cat-like eyes. Uh, I guess we'll listen. An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. So, it sounding like the king burned a mage on top of an intersection of massive amounts of power, which would be an odd coincidence and very unfortunate for him. It's also possible that, because of the strength of the curse, that it became an intersection of power? Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. So, um, this is a square coin. So, ah, uh, this is not the first time I've played the game. I've played this one through its entirety in the first, or my first time. Uh, I chose the Yorvith Path. Um, it's the Yorvith Path and the Roach Path occur at the end of Chapter One, and there are a grand total of three chapters throughout this game. So, essentially, two thirds of the game are similar but yet drastically different. So, I'm experiencing all of this side for the first time. So, I know the major plot points, but I don't know how we get there through this path. And I'm definitely open for uh, making 
decisions with you and other watchers. But interesting. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. So usual candles. But um but beforehand I was talking about the square coin. The square coin is part of a conspiracy against King Hansel. So it's I've been looking for the individuals with the square coins and there's a square coin here which it's these people idolize her for sticking up against the king. Yes, uh the first time I picked the the Orvith path, it seemed the most I don't know, the right at the moment. But I love this series and I've played The Witcher 3 as well. And after I'm done playing The Witcher 2, I'll also be streaming The Witcher 3 again because I just thoroughly enjoy that game so much um, that you can make decisions in the game that are always gray and have usually have some sort of consequences that were unintended. Square coins Square adorned coin. with That's the a fish. lot of them. I guess the plotters like to come here. Well, if the loyalists stay away, it might actually be a good place to meet. But there's also a letter. Let's see. It is as well. So I took the letter, so I'll have to be remember to read that once we're done examining it. Yeah. The, the Witcher 3 is definitely my favorite game of all time as well. It's just... It raised the bar on what an open-world RPG truly is, and I hope other games take note and go forth and make better efforts. Oh, yes, I, I thoroughly love the fact that the consequences... Uh, my favorite experience in The Witcher 3 was actually where I had... I had examined um, a wraith that was stuck in a tower, and it seemed like that she had been falsely imprisoned, and I had gone through and investigated everything, and I, apparently I had missed one thing. So I decided, it's like, oh look, we can break the curse by taking you to... Oh, that's brilliant. I didn't know that they are making a cyberpunk game. That, I definitely have to be looking into that. You don't happen to know the name of that, do you? Um, but I was also... Yeah, take the able to break the curse. You could take it to her lover, and he was able to bury it and break the curse. I apparently missed one thing and didn't know that she still carried a very vengeful spirit and wished harm upon him to free herself. Uh, and I could have essentially destroyed her and freed the curse that way, which would have been, I guess, the ultimate, would be the best solution. But because of my decisions, there was later found out that this Cyberpunk 2077. Interesting. I will definitely have to look that up later. Thank you. Um, but it, with the Wraith, she eventually like led a... She was the cause of a huge plague in a city that killed thousands of people. It's so my choice to free her and trying to help her and release her soul ended up killing thousands of people, and that's just one of the things like unintended consequences that I love in this game. Of stone, reusable, you could say. So nothing unusual about that. Um, I believe it was the daughter of. It was the daughter of a noble that had a mage performing experiments to try and cure diseases, but it ended up creating a plague instead. And then the lover was the eventual leader of, like, the rebellion against the lord, because he was withholding... they thought that he was withholding food from the people that were trying to run there for sanctuary. So there was a huge, giant misunderstanding, and things turned very violent very quickly. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. Oh. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the king will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the yes. key. 
That's a hilarious quest. If I just quest. find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the nail thief who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. So, I need to bring in Hansel here. That's going to be a hard sell. Yeah, he, he painted his house originally with the fellow soldiers that... <laughs> they really underestimated him. But I found a letter, and before I forget about that... Letter of supplication to Saint Sabrina. She became a saint. I only beg you to hear my supplication. Grant me, O oh fair lady, your blessings and protection. Deign to save me from the snares of my enemies and from all dangers. So a standard... Pr she became a subject of prayer. Ooh. She murdered a whole bunch of people and became... Essentially like a deity because of her curse? Well, definitely... Whoa. Plot thickens, but let's go, boys. You've we need to get you home. Feel, right? Let's get out of here. Because I'm gonna apparently gather more information. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? This is dangerous. Burning them for Sabrina. To you. Tis a waste of time, right? Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was with her try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Ah, so they're hoping to appease her in order to save themselves from the curse. So who's the visionary? Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. Know why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. Oh, he might be the guy that took one of the nails, and it might be the nail that protects him from the curse. Which then I have a nail, so I should be protected from the curse. Because before I tried going into the back into the battlefield, mine got completely owned. Uh, did you see the execution? Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago! We both served under Henselt then, but only the fifth company guarded the stake. They say the king never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Didn't give us the nails. Hmm. Hmm. So I could give you the nail. I'm assuming that it will provide protection for me, and I probably have to buy another one. Which would be annoying, but they might also want to profit off it themselves. Like, this is an interesting decision that they would actually ask for input in. That was kind of what I was going after, too. They probably just want to profit off of it, so I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say. Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. Okay, so how did you guys get here if there's so many monsters that you can't get back? How did you manage to avoid oh, the welcome. drowners on your way here? The visionary was with us. He led us through, then left. Okay, so you were led here by the guy that's protected. Definitely have to go see him. I don't like this place. So let's get Thought you home. You want to stay the night here? I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over these hell holes for generations. Go see I get goosebumps every like time I go outside the palisade. So. Yes, the vicar was right. We should have sat on our asses. I need to. You'll be you whistling back. a different tune when the mist lifts and we attack Vergen. The visionary's a right bastard leaving us here. Oh, so there are a bunch of drowners that will attack. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, definitely Quarren. Alright. Thank you for distracting. I will definitely utilize your distraction well. Let's put some more going on. 
see if we can't get these shady folks back. Alright. That's, that's a whole bunch of drowners. Are there any more? Or can I pick up my loot? I can pick up my loot. Oh, I need silk. I don't remember anymore why, but I do need it. Yes. So, the Dune Banner. Wait. Did I just pick up what I needed? Huh. I don't know. So we'll see what your commanding officer has to say when we get you back. I'm kind of hoping that that's all of them, but we do have quite a ways to get back to. Drowner mares. Not the best spots for picnics. No. There's a whole bunch of river left for drowners to pop up. Curses okay. on them! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us, we owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let oh. Zivik catch us. Don't shit your pants. Get the reward for Sabrina Zivik. Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivik to her? Okay. I mean, the camp is right here, so... That's all I really needed to do, I guess. To save you guys. Just needed to save you from... Them. So, apparently I need to talk to the king. I also need to talk to... I need to talk to the king. I also need to talk to the visionary, which I... Maybe he's in the hut that I found before. Out in... So I found a hut out in here. It's actually right there. It's more in the cairns where I was. But I definitely... Hmm. Or oh, there's a merchant... Is that the shady merchant that's over there, I believe? By the remnants of that tower. He might sell something to protect me from the battlefield's curse. Not another I've, uh, I've got a... Stone. I've got a reward coming from Civic. And I also have to talk to the king to try and convince oh, him to man. show up. To remove the curse from him? I have no idea how that conversation is going to go. But, Zivik, what do you want, Witcher? I brought your boys back. Um, I found your missing soldiers. The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's Circle. Oh, the idiots! To be duped by witchcraft and superstitions! I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely. But I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. I do things for money. Thank you. So, Herald of the Visionary. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the Visionary. Ever met him? The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. So you don't like him? Ah, uh, were you there at the execution? Did you see Sabrina's execution? Wish I could have, but only the fifth company was sent there. She deserved it. What she did to the boys. Believe me, I've seen a lot of monstrosities in my life. My brother died during a coup in Rhine when a mage boiled the blood in his veins. Also, I once saw a soldier raping a dead elf woman. But three years ago, people melted like lead. Something you can't forget, Witcher. Ugh. So the fifth company, I believe, is the Dune Company. The relic. There's peddler. a soldier by the inn selling scraps from Sabrina's execution site. I know. The damn quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Half wits. They're just... they're scared, it might work, they're dumb. They're just scared. After dude. what happened here three years ago, it's no surprise Have they're good evening to yourself. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. Oh, In combat, man, I can count brilliant. on my shield, Have my nice armor, evening. and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Bergen, even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. Rusty hatches. Oh, and uh, Master Thistlepower, if you're ever interested in watching... Well, 
the rest of the previous streams I've done of this, I do have a YouTube channel that I post all the archives for my streams that should be in a link for it in the description of the stream. And I do also stream every day at 6 o'clock on the Central, but I do understand that it is quite late for you in France. But it has been wonderful having a nice chat with you. Did you participate Definitely have in a battle? decent e or a I did, evening. and I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen, then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesic, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible white knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the white knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. Hmm. So she rained fire. And so his medallion... Oh, I finally found the the individual I needed to talk to that would provide exposition for the Counts of the Battle. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Interesting. So King Hensel's got an amulet that can potentially protect you from fire. Oh, we'll start from the bottom, I guess. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Tamerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire, but somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee, died like many of us. Though no one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. Interesting. So that was the first battle that the Dune Company became famous in. And they were obliterated in the battle of the battle here during the fires of I killed everyone. But uh, you served in the Dune Banner. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner. Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there have been no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The unit's no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glevesig's magic? Worse. The Adernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwin, lost its standard and almost all its men. The visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. 
It's been in worse shite than this. The Don will be all right. Seven Adernians to each one of us. <laughs> <laughs>